European gang plans to hit the bank in Vice City. My employees would rather this didn't happen. Each member of the gang has a cover while they are here in Vice City. Some have menial jobs, others are on vacation. Each target and their likely whereabouts are taped under the phone. You'll need. You're under arrest. This fall, a new hard-hitting police drama is coming to Friday night. He was a. justifying yourself by the I am not rather than the I am principle. I mean, really, you might as well make his bed and clean his litter tray, for God's sake. It's half-hearted fools like you who give feminism a bad name. But uh, I, I even attacked my brother with a bread knife. You show pony, prom queen, cheerleader, skirt wearer. You see, Amy, that's the thing about people. They're so half-hearted, pick and mix, not prepared to carry out their threats. That woman, that lady, as I bet she likes to be known, is really a self-hater, a f Bad at boiling oil. But she said she tried to kill her brother. Don't argue with me. I write books. Okay, next caller. Michaela, I'm a huge fan. Are you? Yes, you really saved my life. Before I heard you speak a couple of times, I was getting into the feminist movement, but in sort of a silly way. Really? Yeah, you know, burning my bra, beating a policeman, including my dad and stuff. Just lying around, you know. I didn't really understand the feelings I was having. Mm. I know, but we were some troubles of the half heart Then, after listening to you, I really put a load of fun. Well, the parrot didn't like you to tell how stupid I was being. I mean, we're all just people, and it's idiots like you who cause the problems in this world in the name of reclaiming the false ideal. I'm blabbering on and on about gender politics at rallies, just so you can wear leather in public. Why, you misogynist! No, you're insane! You hate yourself because you're a failure. You're an appalling academic and about as intellectual as a hemorrhoid. Goodbye. Well, uh... <clears throat> <clears throat> uh... Well, it was nice to see my work has stimulated such healthy debate, don't you think? Uh, Michaela, she hated you. Yeah, 
nonsense. Poor dear was in bits. Not very used to the cut and thrust of academia. I thought she expressed herself poorly and didn't know what she was saying. Probably burned her husband's cakes or something. God, this is all so confusing. Everything has two meanings. Exactly. Apart from the word through, which has five. You can choose to be a victim, Amy, but after you read my book, you'll realize men are irrelevant. Can a man have a baby? Do I need a man to have a baby? No. We don't need men. We need more parts of town we can call our own. More parades, more gatherings of understanding where women can beat each other with pillows and practice jude. That makes two of us, right? Listeners, don't go away. When you come back, we'll have a new guest, and I promise they'll be more interesting than my Michaela crap artist. Michaela. You taught me baseball, Tim, and had a rap. No! He would have been a fine American. I'll cry when I'm done killing Get yourself a body bag. Strap yourself in. Start making friends the American way. Exploder. Evacuator Part 2. Rated PG. May include patriotic garbage. And welcome back to K-Chat, my city's main place for things. I mean, well, it's a place in my city where things go on, like interviews or things, or other things like that. But at the moment, it's interviews, and I'm Amy Schackenhausen, the best interviewer in Vice City and exclusive to K-Chat. Remember, you only hear Amy on K-Chat. Our next guest is a man on a mission, and that's why he's got such a silly name. His mission is simple, Zoos. His name is Mr. Zoo. G'day, I'm... Hi, Mr. Zoo. Hi, the name's Pat. Pat Flannerty? But I love zoos, I really do. That's why they also call me Mr. Zoo. Okay, and which do you prefer? Uh, what, darling? Which name, Mr. Zoo or Pat? Time to fry bigger fish, Mr. Teal. There's a rifle in the foliage to your right. Watch the woman standing on the balcony above the check in desk. She will walk through the crowd and ask someone the time. You must kill that person, retrieve the case, and take it to the location taped under the phone.
Also, when you only wear black, everything matches. In fact, I'll keep wearing black until something darker comes along. It's a known fact that the best poetry is written when you're hardly depressed. Hey, listen, I wrote a haiku. Oh, the red daisy. Flowers retain all happiness. Sunshine. Yay! Sunshine! <laughs> you sound like you'd enjoy my program, Motivate. You hug people and you laugh like you never laughed before. Let's get back to the topic at hand, eh? I've had enough of this weirdness. Jenny, let's start with you. How do you maintain such a positive outlook on life? It says in your bio that some awful things have happened to you. I don't think anything awful has happened to me. But it says your, 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 your parents were brutally murdered. Mommy? Where's Mommy? She's just fine. She's probably taking a nap. <laughs> You're like my bad doll, Mr. Livingston. He's a bad doll, bad doll, not like my other dolls. My mom's great, though. Thanks for asking. Okay, wow. You're psychotic and dosed up to the eyeballs on tranquilizers. If it's psychotic to be happy, then I guess I am. <laughs> a stalagmite grows an inch every thousand years. That's slow and painful. That's how I want to live my life. If you can't see the misery, stay out of the kitchen. You may have noticed this on a tattoo. It's Egyptian and represents the breath of life given in the afterworld. It's my key to eternal life after death. Hey, why don't you carry your keys in your pocket like everyone else? Because only that which is burned or scratched into your flesh comes with you to the afterlife. <laughs> I bet my ex-wife will be there waiting for me in the afterlife. The bitch is crazy. Who are you? Your new owner. Were you now or at any time a child? What are you talking about? Were you a child? Yes, calm down. I What's knew wrong with you? it. A child. A dirty, stinking, sniveling, snotting, vile, puking, crying little baby. A baby! An awful, horrible, disgusting little boo who mommy doesn't love you. You little shit. Ow, calm down. I hate babies, and I hate children. They're dirty, sniveling, snotting, vile, puking Enough little... already! What is wrong with you? You make soft ice cream, okay? It's purely for kids. What kind of psycho are you? Just so I understand this, why make children happy if you oh, hate them? Oh, you stupid, sniveling, snotty... Shut up! Rat! The ice cream is a front. We distribute other non-dairy products. And if I see a kid, I put him to good use. Don't I, kiddies? Yes, yes, I do. Mommy doesn't love you. She hates you. Hello? Put it out. There's a dude here. <clears throat> hey, Seuss dude, I guess you're the new owner. Yeah. Which one of the boats is the fastest? It's already in the water, dude. I thought you might want to try her out. Dude, she's already running with a 300 horsepower and engine. And the fiberglass hull. 
She just shoots through the way he's... She can do like zero to 60 in four seconds flat, oh, dude. And she can hold like 20 bales of the best Jamaican yeah, smoke yeah. right in the hole. So go ahead, dude. She's ready to fly. Yo, yo, uh, suit dude. You got a light? Dude. Dude. Hey, Mario. What should I do about her? Hey, yo, hey, yo, yo, move! B.J. Smith, and you must be Mr. Bassetti. Would you like the tour? Might as well. Well, I'm very sad to be selling the dealership to y'all. This is my first investment after I turn pro. But now, it's time for me to move on. You're leaving town. Not in too much of a hurry, I hope. No, I'm just coming out of retirement and preparing for my future comeback. The business wasn't too strong, and my staff took it upon themselves to get a bit more creative with the generational wealth. Obviously, I could wind down the business before handing it over. Hell, I could burn the place down if I wanted to. This is prime development land. Oh, I wouldn't worry about any of that. This place seems perfect. Yeah, it does. So I take it we have a deal. Guess you're the new owner. What are you, mob, cartel? You don't look Mexican. Anywho, I guess you better get on with the things are gonna change around here, crap. Maybe threaten one of the drivers. Go steady on Ted over there. He's just had his hernia fixed. Well, yeah, things are gonna change around here, lady. Oh, crap, Sonny. Might as well leave this to me. I've been doing this for years. Now, here's this. We are now under new management, and things are gonna change around here again. Our new management team. Which gang are you? Well, I'm not part of any gang, actually. What's your goddamn name, kid? Versetti. Tommy Versetti. Our new management, the Versetti gang, is gonna make sure we get no trouble. Capiche? Our... Did you like the capiche? I like the capiche. So this is how it's worked in the past. We run the firm as usual. If we get any trouble from rival firms, you beat the crap out of them. Then they beat the crap out of us. Then you beat the crap out of them, et cetera, et cetera. You got it? Uh, yeah, I guess. Just grab a taxi from the garage if you feel like jumping in.
Mr. Vercetti? Hey, you bought the old print works? Yeah, my old man used to work on these. I used to spend the evenings with him cleaning the rollers. I was gonna follow him in his trade, but I lived a different life. You planning on selling the old machinery? Breaking it down? I'm thinking we might print something. A newspaper, a magazine. Oh, crap, Sonny. Low-grade crap. I've always fancied printing money. It ain't too hard. You know, I've been doing it on a small scale for years. Really? Sure. But we need some good quality plates. Of course. There's a counterfeiting syndicate already operating in Florida. A syndicate? Yeah, with just rumors is all I've heard. I know a man who's good with rumors. He wanted a plan. Look at the ass on that. <laughs> All right, girls, you're lost, mate, innit? All right, me old China. That's hanging. What do you know about counterfeiting? Oh, I'm fine, Paul. How about you? Come here. Oh, all right, all right, all right. You're obviously a busy man. All I know about dodgy reddies is to try and supply the plates. Ah, oh, fuck. You know. They've got a shipping company down the docks. Ah, uh, uh, the boss man would know when the plates are coming in next. Thanks, Paul. What's the matter with you, you maniac? Give me another drink, lively. From the mainland of our oppressors and float out to sea. Then the nation of Florida will be free to start over. There'll be no long ass lines at the log flume or the pirate ship ride when I take over. You and the kids will be able to ride the rides all day. We will have a roller coaster for each and every Florida family. You know, you're bordering on treason. What you are saying is a very naughty thing, and only because here on Pressing Issues do we believe so wholeheartedly in free speech are we allowing it. It's the truth, my friend, the damn truth. And before you start, I am not a racist. I hate everybody irrelevant of other issues. But I especially hate Yankees, by which I mean anyone from Georgia or further north. Build your own theme parks. Buy your own sun. Grow your own damn mosquito-infested swamp, pal. We're gonna build ourselves a river. FBI, CI, I don't give a damn. They can't stop us. You shrub. You yellow-bellied, tie-wearing, bribe-taking hypocrite. 
What have you done for Vice City up there in Washington? I've insured important tax breaks for gun retailers, real estate developers, and I've cut the cost of policing, saving the city 2%, or 25 cents per household over a six-year period. At the expense of society. Think of the little people. Poor people have no voice in this city. Every time I find a park to meditate in, someone brings in a bulldozer and builds condos. The madness must stop. So you suggest we just stop making babies? People need a place to park their boat and trailer and put their swimming pool. You're beginning to sound red, and by that I mean you prefer a hammer and sickle over a hamburger. Let's all calm down, pal. Oh man, are you a goner? Phone call now, 1-866-9-SAVE-ME. What better place to witness 40,000 years of nuclear winter than from the comfort of your very own space-ready nuclear bunker? When we raise 25 million, we will build a 50-story... All right, the courier's moving the plate from the docks today. I'm gonna go intercept them, grab the plates, lose any heat, and make my way back here. Now, depending how well this goes, we may have five minutes to print the money before the counterfeit syndicate finds us, or we may have all year. Either way, I want Green rolling off the presses five minutes after I get back, got it? Don't you worry, Tommy. We'll be ready. Me and the boys will be around in the neighborhood in case you need any heat taken care of. All right, everybody cool? All right, I'll catch you later. You have to pay to prove you can. Live the emotion of an individual. The awesome power of nature distilled into one vehicle. He goes after you get struck by lightning. There's thunder. The my bots are thunder. Hello, welcome back to KJet. I'm a woman, so I know it's important to discuss feelings. That's why we don't have any male hosts on this station. People open up more to women. I was telling my girlfriend yesterday, if a woman were president, we'd nuke the country every 28 days. <laughs> In these times of trouble, of international scary things that cause anxiety, people seek soul ice.
Action. Whoa! Now that's big. Twelve inches. That is regulation, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Cut! Who is this idiot? You! You! Why are you in my space? Why? What is all this crap? Aliens! Hey, baby, fishing are... poles! Who's ever seen a shark that big? All this stuff's gotta go! Why'd you get in this business, you prick? Huh? For the pussy. That's why. What is this? This is my art. Security! Look, you pompous asshole. I own you now. I own all of this. We're gonna turn this place around. I'm gonna make you rich. Uh, you're, you, you're Tommy Vassetti, but I thought that you were... That's right. We're gonna be making some changes around here and start making some real money. Actually, have you ever thought about, uh... Um... But first, we're gonna need some good-looking bras. Yeah, girls are fine, but you, wow. What's that guy think this is, some free art crap? Geez, like anyone ever watch movies about fish? You gotta listen to this one, man. Put a 
advice. Now, back to Pressing Issues. Welcome back to Pressing Issues with me, Maurice Chavez. On our panel, we got the secessionist lunatic John F. Hickory, liberal rich kid Callum Grayshaw, and neo-fascist congressman Alex Shrub. Gentlemen, welcome back. Let's start with you, Mr. Hickory. Why the F? The floor. A dream of a better tomorrow by encouraging people to grow their own root vegetables. What's the satisfaction of holding a gun in your hand when you could be holding a hoe, planting seeds in a... Anyway, what do you like to enjoy a rusty? Yo, Candy, I'm looking for movie talent. You interested? Sure. <laughs> but you'd have to talk to my agent. The hell are you doing? You, drink, you should have Don't stayed at home it. today. Can you believe this asshole? Come on, let's go. Medusa, me, 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 Medusa, uh, 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 uh. Um, no, I, I think actually it was, it was Bodicea, but, but no, no, not, not really. I'm from Hampshire, you see, I'm, I'm your business. A wanderer. Yes, oh, I, I was wondering. You're, you're, you're a good witch, uh, correct? Yes, a white witch. But you have a broom? Yes, it's ceremonial. Supposing I'd be a bad boy, like if I hadn't learned my spells or something? <laughs> Violence is wrong. But you must hit Freddy with your broom. Freddy's been very naughty and not learned his spells. Hit me, Harry Legs, hit me! I deserve it! Prank caller! Prank caller! Sorry, listeners. Somebody called the IRS. Who let that guy in the country? Yes, poor man. So lost in ill at ease with his father, son, and mother nature. I hope he finds what he needs. And I need to take a commercial break. Gaff, good luck. Get Semini. Yeah. I hope you find what you're looking for, and I sincerely hope you woo, take a bet. Hey, Mercedes. Hey, Tommy. You want a party? Not now, sweets. You interested in doing some movies? Of course, as long as it's cheap and sleazy. <laughs> you're hired. Get in. <laughs> That's what keeps me healthy. And now, using training methods I perfected, it's going to work for you. The BJ Spit for Football. Watch those pounds fall off. I'm down to 300 pounds using exactly the method I demonstrated on tape. I mean, who are you going to trust to get you fit? A man who can rip your arm off and beat you with the wet end? Or some aerobics instructor who wouldn't get drafted by the local hopscotch team? Hell no. BJ's Fit for Football, out now on Beta and VHS. Remember, to win the game of football or life, you have to annihilate everything in your path in a blind race. Ever since Linda started working, our kids are home alone. We tried hiring a nanny, but she wanted health insurance. Yeah, right. That's what we got to mess the body. He's great with the kids. And he helps us too. He's a great conversation piece at our special parties. Hey, Tommy, you coming in for a warm up? Maybe later, babe. I brought you a drink. Oh, it's eight in the morning. I made it a double. Oh, Domestabot. Domestabot, he's three. Whoa, cool shark.
How's filming going, Steve? Well, Candy is a natural. And that new girl, she's insatiable. She went through half the cast and crew before I even took a light reading. Anyway, hey, tomorrow we're going on location to shoot the boat scenes. Boat scenes? What boat scenes? The fishermen are in the throes of passion when the giant shark comes in. What'd I say about the giant shark? <sighs> I said, no giant shark, all right? Just keep the cameras pointed at the poon tank. Okay, okay. Hey, Tommy, you guys got to try, right? Get those flyers printed up. Yeah, but nobody's gonna let us distribute those things. I mean, they're just too, uh, they're unimaginative. You don't worry about that. I've got my own ideas for distribution. Okay. Hey, Candy, uh, in my trailer. I'm stealing things and posing in silly clothes when he could be getting ahead with a minimum wage job and making his parent proud. The dream of America is to live in a duplex and share a yard. Why would anyone want to threaten that great future? Answer me that and I'll show you a green dog. And speaking for the underdog, the foundation I set up with my trust fund, we believe gangs are a valid expression of a people's identity, a grouping, a community within a community. Gangs are a way to be noticed in the boxy suburbs. You scream out. Rather than urinate at the edge of your camp like a proud native, we spray paint our names on the walls of the mall to ward off predators. And that's supposed to terrify people? No, no. We believe passionately in nonviolent solutions to life's problems. Gangs have to learn to love, to be inclusionary. We'd award badges to good gangs and give bad gangs a silly hat to wear. It would give people something to feel a part of. Kill with kindness, not a garden tool. Yes, but what about the guy getting beaten up on the street? Or the man having his motorcycle stolen? What about him? Or her? Some of the best bikers are really women. Anyone can join our group. This is about poor people getting together. But your father owns half of Florida. How are you part of the working class? Like I said, possessions are not important at all. I'll pick up a hitchhiker in my convertible any day. The other day, I picked up a young woman and we discussed a non-violent solution to war. We called it peace. Your father is a great man. He's done more for the arms trade in this state than anyone else, myself included. And you shame him with the socialist, jiggery, pokery, hoot nanny. America needs hope, not songs that are supposed to send food to the poor. Songs will get you nowhere. This country needs something to aim for, like being rich and laughing at poor people, or being in government and laughing at the electorate. Now, now, Mr. Shrub, let's not make this personal. I appreciate your attempt to press the point, but we are here to press the issue. My city is in trouble, and I think we're not really providing any serious solutions. So far, we've got secessionism rearing its ugly head for the first time in a century and a half. We've got ignore it, and we've got give everyone a flower. You're all a, a little unrealistic, yes? Nah, excuse oh, come me. On, yeah. so I can just have one there, my friend. Maurice? I, not to say over-opinionated and moronic, Mr. Grayshaw, how do we stop people running amok in the city with machine guns and heavy artillery? You've got to give a man a chance. Prisons are overflowing with wasted potential. Make the guilty men innocent once more. Free them from themselves. How? How on earth do you do that? Well, um, you could let them off. Marvelous. Great. That's a sensible plan. Then they wouldn't be guilty anymore. We've been doing that for years, you idiot. How do you think we keep prison costs down? They, they ain't by magic or cook in the books. And we save that for education. But, as in most things, we in government are saving money so that you don't have to. When we spend less money on services, more goes to administration salaries and expenses, which helps make lives a lot less difficult for everybody. It's about sharing. Sharing your taxes out amongst the select few. That's why I worked so hard at school, so I could reap the rewards now. Hmm, I thought you worked hard at school because the other kids laughed at you and called you a square. That, that's a damn lie. They called me wet fart. 
They called me the Bat because my voice didn't break until I was 19. So, Mr. Shrub, I take it you don't believe in regulation. I believe in giving people a chance, not tying them down with lots of needless regulations. The fact is, business is run by moral people who won't do anything illegal or try to get rich quickly. But since you got elected, Vice City has been characterized by a government who cut aid to the poor, offered tax breaks to the rich, and paid people to dump toxic waste near schools. Yes, we've made a lot of progress. And up on Capitol Hill, you were instrumental in pushing through a bill allowing the manufacture and sale of giggle cream, a dessert with potential lethal consequences. Uh, not true. Only 23 people have died, and several of them probably deserved it. So, with people being set such a bad example by big business, how are they supposed to respect each other, to act safely in society, and how are they policed by a demoralized and underfunded police force? Well, I'm afraid that's apparently quite a difficult question, but my solution is easy. I'm gonna talk for a long time about a subject not in any way related, and pretty soon people will forget all about it. I'll remind people that I have a great haircut, and that under my stewardship, Vice City has had on average 15% better weather than before, while crime rates only go up if you don't turn the graph upside down. Turn it upside down, and they have halved. Halved under me, Alex Shrub. Vote Shrub for president, and you'll have a friendly face in the White House. A man you can trust. A local man who likes golf and laughing and photo opportunities at your store or place of business. Just send me a letter. I'll send you an automated photocopied response. We call it democracy, and that's where the money goes. Now, just a Yo, minute. Don't interrupt. Let me finish. But you're not... And this man won't let me speak. You, Shorty, shut up and let me speak. I'm taller than him, ladies and gentlemen. Musty Pines. We'll help bring back dignity, and we promise it will be the best three months of their lives. They'll enjoy bingo, complaining, mumbling incoherently, skinny dipping, and organ donation. And once a month, it's our famous Lucky Dip medication switch. Okay, what's the problem now? After his close encounter with the Nympho invaders, our hero finds himself unable to think of anything but this huge phallic oh, yeah. mountain. And that's when I want to do the scene with the vat of mashed potatoes, but then I don't we... Don't give uh... a crap about that! Just keep going, keep going. You mentioned something about some legal problem oh, on the yeah. phone. Congressman Alex Shrub has jumped on the pre-election bandwagon. He's going after the Puritan vote. Rumors are he's going to support measures to restrict, shall we say, the yeah. more fleshy oh, yeah. aspects of this nation's mm -hmm. great entertainment oh, yeah. industry. Okay, all right. Okay. Candy, okay, you know Candy. Shrub. Okay, you guys get up to anything Bob. kinky? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Candy. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. got that. Was that part of the, uh, was she talking to? Hey, I can never tell. Anyway, you're probably best following her after the shoot. See if she'll lead you to their new love nest. You got a camera? Yeah, get him a camera.
pressing issues, has extended playtime, and is the number one rated show in the Vice City area. I'm your very entertaining host, Maris Chavez, a man climbing the broadcasting ladder at a rate of six knots. Six years ago, I was a clown, and now I'm a success. <laughs> Think about it. Imagine where I could be in 10 years. I could achieve anything. Anyway, morality. What is it? Why do we need it? Our ancestors, shortly after discovering fire, build tools to beat each other over the head and discover how to make meat to celebrate with afterwards. Then Columbus came over, shut down the pilgrim discourse. Why? All very confusing if you ask me. And you did. And I asked myself, that is a perfect subject for a region-wide discussion show, which is very lucky because I happen to host one. To discuss the subject of morality, we have firebrand preacher, Pastor Richards, the head of the Pastor Richards Salvation Statue Organization, a group which plans to raise enough money to build a statue of Pastor Richards himself. We also have John Brown, leader of Moms Against Popular Culture, or MAPC, or is it MAPS? Map K, I don't know. We're deep in acronym hell right now, or is it purgatory? And finally, we have Barry Stark, author of the book, As Nature Intended. He's the editor of Vice City's Naturist News, and is working feverishly, it says here, to bring more nude recreation to Vice City. To protect the dignity of our other panelists, we place Mr. Barry Stark behind a divider. I'm naked back here. It's my right as a person. <laughs> yes. Let's start with the obvious, yes? Is it moral to be naked? Yes. You can't stop me. Well, I'm a mother. So I have to deal with this issue every day. My adorable kids have learned that it's wrong to be naked. When it's bath time, they know to put on a bathing costume. That's, that's also the reason there are no mirrors in my house. Nudity leads to bad, naughty things. Maurice, if I may interrupt, I haven't worn clothes since 1982. Clothes are seriously unnatural. Did you guys learn anything from the 60s? I had a revelation when I was in holiday in Germany. I had always felt very constricted. Then it hit me like a slippery fish. Clothes are plain wrong. When you're born, you're not wearing any clothes. When you die, you're not wearing any clothes. I'm going to have to interrupt you there. What a hippie. What if an enormous piece of machinery falls on you while you're working? Clothes lead to him. could you call me Martha? Oh, Alex. I mean Martha. What a piece. Flamethrower, if you're naked, it could burn or scold in quite a pro Martha, someone's watching. How kinky. of immoral behavior is exactly why I'm building the Pastor Richard Salvation statue. Noah had an ark, Texans had the Alamo, and I am building a highly fortified structure in my image. Simple. This 50-story statue will be able to deflect alpha, gamma, and beta radiation. The day is coming, and coming soon, where the artificial suns will rain down to punish the degenerates of this city. But you can save yourself. The Pastor Richard Salvation statue will be a completely self-sufficient community. We have canned food rations, private living quarters, and enough supplies to survive happily the predicted 40,000 years of nuclear winter. In phase two, and with funding from NASA, we will equip this massive statue with rockets. So when the poopy hits the proverbial fan, we... I'm sorry, but I just can't swallow oh, this right on, now. come on, darling. He's hung like a sperm whale, for pity's sake. How can you not feel the part? But, Stevie... How's my star director? Oh, man, the struggle between mm. the artistic integrity and the humping, pumping <sighs> action continues unabated. <laughs> and before you ask, yes, all four videos will be released mm. by their... Honey, can you please keep the Andacon and the shot? He costs more per hour than you do. Oh, sorry, Steve. I was thinking, we need some kind of big stunt to really promote the launch. Mm. Something that will make a real impact on this city. You got any ideas? Well, in the old days, they used to have gala events, stars, limos, the night sky crisscross with searchlights. Searchlights. I got an idea. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, little sequin numbers and the limos. Uh, oh, mm. premieres. Oh, yes, uh, ma'am. Of course, yeah. ma'am. And the mm. press and the barrage of lights. Where are we going now, boy? <laughs> the greatest day of my life. So, well, why the hell you call in? Don't worry, I'm a professional. The method I use the game against essays is actually a part of my exercise video. When in doubt, go for the groin. I hope that answers your question. That's a problem with the public. Hey, it. I get it all the time. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I get that all the time. People say, are you that girl off the television in that show? And I say, no, I'm the girl from the radio. I just look like her. Anyway, BJ, that's all we have time for for now. Thanks, Amy. And um, look after that mustache. Okay. Thank you. I'll be back on K-Chat after these messages from our sponsors. Don't go away. Are you tired of Dad? Hey, no one wants to hear your stupid Vietnam story. Are you tired of mom? Hi, Angel. Do you want to read a book or go outside? No! The arcade comes to your living room only without the creepy guys offering to show you puppies. Awesome! Betty Janetron, you can play video games just like you were in the arcade. Excellent! The Janetron gaming system plays three exciting games, including Defender of the Faith, where you save the green dots with your fantastic... Where you swim green dot with your Sell high by low brings arcade realism to your living room. It can even take quarter. Comes by to empty. The future's looking so bright, I gotta wear shit.
You walk in on my patch. The phone's really hard with our heads. Oh, yeah. Three. You, my dear, are a Philistine. I'm sorry, but this is one of the most degrading, debasing, horrific, unedifying, opportunistic things I have ever done in my life since that whole Rake's Progress lawnmower commercial. I feel dirty, like I just sat in something. You did. Our last guest was taken violently ill. Yes, well, such is the plight of radio. Rather than grumble like Leporello or a taxi driver about my duties cleaning the back seat, I shall bid you adieu. Okay, thanks, Claude. Next, we have a very important guest who doesn't dance like a weird jerk. We'll be back right after this. You're on K-Chat. Knights of the Road, here's your stallion. Tommy, hey Tommy, look at this. This is great. I've got us this mini bar installed. We got a whole bar downstairs, Ken. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, I got the chalkboard you asked for. Ah, that's the benefit of a law school education. The ability to follow instructions. No, I need a safe man. Oh, all right, well, let me think. Safe, safe, safe. I got it. This guy will blow you away. Ah, no, nah, that schmuck, he's on the inside. Where inside? and a police headquarters cell awaiting transfer. I think he's about to get paroled. On Vice City and enslave the poets and postal workers and force us to watch network programming. That is... Good. But 
you have to open your wallets. That's right. If you pledge at the $1,000 level, you'll get tickets for In the Future There Will Be Robots at the Vice City Arts Center. People who see that show say it's difficult to put into English. That must mean it's spectacular. Yes, but if you don't give money to VCPR, we could be thrown back. the consequences. Hey, get him! Only authorized personnel beyond this point. Harder! Harder! Come on! Cam Jones? Yeah, that's me. I'm busting you out. Whatever you say. Lose the heat and get me back to my place. Was naked. Even you. Why do we have to stay behind this divider? Maurice, please. Because nobody is interested in seeing your business. Because we have standards of decency which you are offending. husband is doing the same right now with his secretary. No, he worked through it. He was stressed. It's hard keeping a family together these days. Everyone, take your clothes off and feel what it's like to be free of bondage. Everyone out there in Vice City, take your clothes off. If this is the land of the free, let's start with our pads. Feel the wind from the air conditioning. Oh, a breeze is so liberating. <laughs> Thanks very much. Now, if you could get back behind that divider, Barry, please. Otherwise, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Thank you. Uh, now sit down. On pressing issues, we think it is very important to respect one another. To treat each other like we would like to be treated. I want a hug. If you don't like the United States, son, why don't you move to Russia? I don't understand people in America today. They call this a cold war, but it's hotter than hell. Mark my words, in a day now, you're sitting in school, passing notes and talking about the prom, when suddenly you look out the window and there are Russian paratroopers dropping in to take over. What can you do? Run into the woods with your friends? Call yourselves the Wolverines? Put twigs in your hand? Try to beat back the Ruskies? No, you hightail it to Pastor Richard Salvation Stan you and blast off into space. But there is a limited amount of space. That's why I suggest anyone who wants the safety and security of your own bunker, give now. Call 866-9-SAVE-ME. We'll get you on the payment plan and you paid in full on D-Day. You and your family will be safe. If not, you may have to choose to save yourself and leave the others behind. Hey, 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 stop selling things on my show. You're not a value sponsor who supports the art of public radio, buddy. I, for one, welcome our new Russian masters. We can learn so much from other cultures. Did you know in India, the women protest by setting themselves on fire? I tell you, next time the kids are screaming for ice cream and pop, I may just douse myself in kerosene. I use that as a threat to my kids all the time, so it's no wonder they're so screwed up. That's one of the tough things about being a mom, not ruining their lives with guilt. Uh, as a matter of fact, I Really? That Knife After Dark movie may be number one in the box office, but my kids certainly ain't gonna see it. If you don't raise your kids right, they end up being like nude boy over there or uh, working in radio. I want them to get proper jobs, like being a doctor, not a patient. That is offensive. My mother understood I was special. She made me wear a bonnet as a child, and when I demanded to go to school naked, she was fine with it. After social services moved me, she would still write to me. I still remember when she kissed me goodbye. But Barry, earlier you said you discovered naturism, taking your clothes off, whatever it is in German. I know, but I lie a lot. Uh, I've got a lot of personal issues. Look at me. P please, Maurice, I need a hug. 
There's another example of immorality in this city. Public showing of affection. People think we be doing a job, and you're my safe cracker. Beats losing my ass in his cell. Like a wild animal, and you want to ravage one another like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> Right now, I know, I read about it. I tell my kids not to kiss other kids at school. It might be an android, suck your brains out. You must have seen the miniseries event on television. I read it in a book. We've got to stop looking at the stars, all this science fiction, and focus on the family. Now, if you really want to dance like you're on the moon, go there and leave us in peace. And that's a fact. What's a fact? I'm sorry, Maurice, but I have to tell you, I moved to Florida to bring my kids up the American way in a theme park. And that's just the kind of person I am, opinionated and moronic. I see. Well, this panel is certainly interesting. The issue is morality. Recently, rock artists joined together to provide famine aid to Alaska with the song, Do They Know It's the Fourth of July? Critics complain it's immoral to meddle in the affairs of other peoples and cultures. Two to three miles a day. We need a stick up, man. You know one? Hey, Tommy, 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 this stuff keeps you sharp, man. Woo! I could be your stick up, man. Stick him up, stick him up! You ain't a stick up, man. You're an idiot. Now get yourself a drink and shut up. Hey, get out of my way! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow, ow, ow. Relax. Cam, what do you think? Well, the best shooter in this town is a guy named Cassidy. Is that so? Yeah, a military guy, or thinks he is. I doubt he was ever in the army, but he certainly knows how to get a hold of guns. He'll be down at the shooting range. They throw down that bear pelt, saddle up the sled dogs, and get pulled all the way to Vice City. And I should know, I'm from Mars. No, you're not. Uh, Mars, Alabama. I founded three colleges there. The problem with Alaska is that people don't get naked. If you can't work on your car, or play the cello, or use sharp knives in your birthday suit, then what's the point of living? Uh, well, it is a bit cold there. People put on clothes when it's cold. We evolved without a warm covering of hair. That's a lie, sir. We come from the great meteor of crew. Clothes are a habit, like shaving and taking out the trash. As soon as you stop, you realize what a prisoner you were to society and a twisted state of morality. People think that nudists are immoral. Well, we're not. What's wrong? I'm married, I love my wife. In our commune, it's so wonderful to wake up in a big bed and go to breakfast clothed in nothing but a smile. What kind of people are there in your weirdo commune? Single people, families, elderly couples, teachers, politicians, and especially truck drivers. Truck drivers understand what it's like to be by yourself for days on end with nothing but country music on the radio and a stick in your hand shifting gears over and over. Cassidy? Why? I'm looking for a man who can handle a gun. In this setup, I'm not too convinced. Son, I can shoot a fly off your head at 80 feet. Oh, really? Yeah, I learned it in the Army. Fly shooting real popular in the Army? Glad I don't pay tax. You trying to be funny, kid? <laughs> Let's shoot!
ammunition. Aim! Three, two, one, fire! Oh, man. So, do you want to do me a favor and help me put together a job? Son, after shooting like that, if you asked me to be your wife, I'd say yes.
Get to the payphone in Little Havana. <laughs> Don't worry. and everyone else is picked on and abused. It happened to me, and look at me. I'm a deranged mess, and my husband cheats on me. I don't want my kids to go to a public high school. Instead, we have a prom each year in my living room. And that leads to my neck. I try to be kind, but you are a freak, and a liar, and wasting everybody's time. The organs below the belt are for reproduction and removing of bodily waste. There's no reason that when I go to buy a soda or a transmission, I need to be distracted by your privacy dangling about. Now, when I go to the store to buy an air conditioning filter, I'd rather not have to look at your moneymaker, amigo. I'm glad you are proud of it. But when people of Vice City are in a quickie mart, they should be able to have a simple financial transaction without seeing your fire hose. Are you with me? Sorry, Mar... Yes, maybe that's it. Uh, Maurice, if I may, you have a fine show here, and, and I'm glad to be on it. But everyone within the sound of my voice and smell will die in the fires of doom. It is written, TV is trash, radio is trash, our newspapers are run by Canadians with an agenda. Our very way of life is threatened. We formed this great state to play golf, and I'll be damned if any weirdo hippies are gonna tell us we can't fill in wetlands and make a home for ourselves, complete with 18-hole championship standard courses and selective... There is a valuable exchange taking place on the roof of the Cherry Popper Ice Cream Company. Still, everyone involved, steal the merchandise and take it to the helipad at the airport. There is a gate to your left that leads to the back of the factory. Oh, you just are a freak or something. It's a difficult question, Jack. A very difficult question. Is it right to lie? you got
Him to sit on a spike, haha. <laughs> okay, old man, okay. Century. We have electricity, penicillin, jet planes, implants. Well, I don't, but I want some, but I heard the operation is really gross. You live like it's 982 AD or something. Mind ye tongue, wench, lest I cut it out. Deep down, all of you listening to me say, Thor, yes, I'd like to unleash the Viking within. Maybe you go camping once a year or hunting and wonder why it feels so natural. That's because it is. Too much of this denying your instincts. Men shaving. You know, deep down in the pit of your soul, you wish you could crouch in the grass with flies biting your face. Afraid... And an animal at that moment, one in the same in a terrible beauty. Then you drag the carcass back to camp and celebrate by eating its heart. Some people, they only... Say everything that needs to be said. Even singing medallions from Casanova. Who knows? Music is the food of love. Model drains, dollhouses, diapers, whatever is your interest, we've got a medallion for you. Things are starting to come together nicely here. What's the plan, Tommy? Keep pasta, amigo. The plan is you keep doing that like a moron. <laughs> Anyhow, we need a driver. Tommy, I'll do it. I can drive. <laughs> you want Hillary, mister. Not some smart talking law school chump. Hillary's a real deal. You ain't never seen anyone drive so fast. I'll give him a call here. Hey, Hill. It's Phil. How's it going? No, don't talk. We'll reminisce later. You want to do me a favor? I got me a guy from up north. Oh, no, I don't think he was in the service. But he wants a driver for a bit of action. Okay, I understand. What'd he say? Well, he'll do it, no problem. Well, there might be a little problem. See, he has abandonment issues. Seems he won't work for anyone who can't beat him. Something to do with his mama. Anyway, he wants to race you first. Said he'd meet you outside. someone normal for a change. You Tommy? Oh, of course you're Tommy. I mean, why else would anyone want to speak to me? Okay, consider it this way. I'll drive for you if, and only if, you can drive properly. Leave me alone, and I'll never forgive you. Yeah. What? There's only one thing good about life. Uh-huh, and what's that? Death. 
dead? Yeah, and dying. That's good too. And black. And the moon. At least when you're dead, you can go around as an astral body and visit places like New Orleans. I love New Orleans. It's really hot and depressing. Oh, death is good. Is it? Yeah. What? I if you're going to inherit a lot of money? Yeah, no, I mean, yes. But also if you can be positive and upbeat about things. I mean, like my parents were brutally murdered a few years ago. Yeah. And I was really bothered, but I kept smiling and I got a lot out of it. I'm a much better person today having dealt with that. They were killed so I could have a great personal experience. And I see that now. Lucky bastards. I wish someone would kill me. Then I can hang out in a graveyard all the time instead of just on weekends. I know I'm really lucky to have the opportunity to learn about life. You can't control everything in life, so start a day with a smile and you'll end a day with one. What do you start a day with, Constantinos? Usually with a pint of blood, it does. Then I light some candles and cry. <laughs> Okay, moving on before we're all sick. No worries, I do, because I won't be constrained by you. Life is cheap, man, and then you die. If you prepare for the afterlife now, you will be able to summon spirit. That's the truth of the pentagram, man. <clears throat> How profound. You've obviously got a lot of important things to tell the world. The world is a lot. Okay, I'll drive for you, but please treat me bad. Very much. <laughs> As you can see, gentlemen, this is going to be the easiest buck we ever made. <laughs> Tommy, seriously, you gotta consider going into law. <sighs> what the hell are you smoking, man? This ain't no simple plan. Well, who needs a simple plan anyway? Take communism. Now that was a simple plan. Didn't do Russia any favors, huh? Calm down, all right? With a team like this, it's gonna be no problem. We got Cam on safe. Phil, you and me will handle security. And Hillary will drive well, to get I, it. I don't... Uh, <laughs> aren't you forgetting somebody? Somebody who helped you to no end in this town? Somebody Ken! Like... Ken, that's right. Ken here, he washes the money for us. And he keeps the drinks on ice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. Look, it's easy. Haven't you ever seen a movie? We walk into the bank. We wave the gun around and leave very rich men. I'll drive. Great! A passenger? Wait till I tell the group about this. Tommy, Hillary's taking up too much room. I am not! R2! Hey, shut up, you two, or you can get out and walk. Yeah, Hillary. For God's sakes, Bill, stop waving that thing around. Keep driving around the block, okay? Okay, Tommy, okay. This is a raid! <laughs>
Nobody move! Everybody up against that wall! Phil, hold down the fort. Wilco, roger that! Come on, Cam, the vault's upstairs. What do you think? We're the security asshole! You what now? Damn! It's a flangy 9000. This could take hours to crack. Or five minutes if you could find a manager. I'll go find where he's holed up. Bill, things still sweet? Sure. Everything's real quiet. You, you're coming with me. Okay, okay, just don't shoot. I said nobody move! It's on a time lock. You might as well give up now. Hell, I can bypass the time lock. Then we just need your key code and we're good. Stay here. You try anything and you're dead. I'm gonna check on Phil. I'll be right back. I told you not to touch that alarm! The SWAT team will be here any minute. I could do with some help here, Tommy! Oh, it has to be. Light City SWAT, you are completely surrounded. Surrounded? <laughs> They're crapping themselves. Corrupt bastards. Tommy, the vault's open. Okay, we got the SWAT retirement fund. Let's get out of here. Okay, you asked for it. You've had your last chance. They're storming the place. Take cover! Where's Hillary? I'll give him abandonment issues. Hey guys, get in! I got you covered!
fence. What'd I tell you, Tommy? What'd I tell you? Fence swap better watch out when Kemp Paul is in town. Come on, give me a bigger slice, mate. Come on, I've got to get some new threads. Do not make me lose my cool. Tommy, I really enjoyed working with you. Ain't had so much fun since the region Nam, pal. Anyhow, if you need anything, you call on me, you hear? I always remember those I served with, and I'm sure I can help you out, you hear? I had Sonny on the phone, okay? Are you with me? I don't know about you, but there's something about a man threatening to murder my family which really scares the crap out of me. What are you gonna do? Ken, take it easy. I am calm. Calm as a man can be when he's fearing for his life. Stay off the idiot fuel and look after yourself. No one's gonna take us out. I'll see you later. I am calm. Don't I sound calm? It must be impending death that's doing this to my voice. of abuse, Love Fist would be over, and the new contract reflects that. As an artist, it's really important that I make a lot of money. Right, man? You need to keep you and our friends in your diamonds and that, eh? Yeah, rock on, Keith, Roger, what a trip. Yeah, shut up, you silly talk. Ugh, let's take a caller. Hello. You're on the line with Love Fist. Hi. Yo, this is Wayne, man. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Jez? I'm a huge fan. I go to all your concerts. I get crazy. Oh, I wear my Love Fist t-shirt every day, even when I'm with old lady. Hey, I heard there's some subliminal messages in your video. Is that true? Listen, seriously, the big hair. The... This is my fair. Back off, asshole. Hotel Suites, another TV smashed into a thousand pieces, right? After my unfortunate incident in Cleveland, you I told the press, I don't like Mondays. This livens up the day. If you're asking me if we was using bat mask, music is vegetable time. Do you want me to say congratulations? You have just discovered the secret message. Dreams are made to be broken. Like so many broken dreams, I want to pick up the pieces together. God, I am so glad. Oh my, I think just what I saw. Maybe I'll be able to but anyway, like I say, that stuff doesn't matter. Not for me. I'm a spiritual person on a journey, right? And nothing will stand in my way. Boy, do I. On the track, Satan's Pillows, you sang about how a broken heart can... About how a broken heart can't ever be mended, just broken. I know. Really powerful stuff. Emotional. I think that song says everything that needs to be said about love, man. Come on, come on, get it, quick. Okay. Please, don't hurt me. Everyone remembered that the world would be okay. Thanks, love. You are a real smart cookie. Thanks, Jazz. Now, do you think it's important that, well, I mean, you're a great looking guy, even though your girlfriend is a cheap tramp, but do you think it's important that rock and roll bands look good, or is it about the music? 
music. Like I said, I'm a creature with two faces, babe, you know? An angel and a devil. And that means it's really important to look good. Music cannot stand on its own. You need to look good singing it. I'm tired of people saying all we care about is partying and that we can't play. If we couldn't play, people wouldn't come to our concerts. We're... I'm supposed to go to commercial. I'll be right back. Howdy. Welcome to Farewell Ranch. They say the golden years are the best years of your life. Oh, Many oh, seniors, they just stamp up the house and make Cabs keep beating us to it. They just got too many cars. We can't compete. Mr. Bassetti, if you're out there listening in, you want to put some VC cabs out of action before we go bust. Look at the working man. Because after you spend the day working in a steel mill, you want to wear tight leather clothes and play air guitar. That's what we're about. The recent album was a musical trip through hell, and I think it shows. Oh, yeah, it does. I mean, I saw Satan. He didn't like what he saw in me. He saw darkness, but also a gentle side. Ask man, I can find treasure in the dark. It's that, it's that, uh, uh, what's the word? Oh, head and trousers, everything. That's what you get at one of my shows. Jess Torrin and Love Fist will really show you you. Women's clothing first. Why? Because it tells you about light and darkness, like the moon. But seriously, oh, <laughs> thanks, Jazz. I've always thought your music really lets people see into your soul. Right, into great big pools of pain like me, dangerous bastard. You see, babe, I've had my heart broken and I am still a man. I'm working on a song right now called Fallen Stars on Shattered Dreams in the Rain. It's about being able to communicate through music rather than words. It's set in a wind tunnel. That's why there's a huge snake painted on my jacket. The snake symbolizes kind of a subconscious oh, power force. Heartbreak? Babe, 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 don't go there, please. You do your show a favor, take it easy. My people spoke to your people about this, and seriously, I appreciate the offer. And look, I would shag you, but you have to understand, it's too soon. Because Shari left you, right? Babe, babe, my people spoke about this to your people. I said, do not mention Shari. It's like sticking needles in my soul, voodoo. Who are you? Are you my personal devil? You could do this to me. The pain is too much. I have hair in my face to hide my soul. Shari had to go because... December of the soul. <laughs> Jazz, this has been the best interview of my life. Thanks so much for coming on. For all you Love This fans out there, it's time for a contest. That's right, ladies and gents, you're listening to me. Jazz Torrent and K Chat being interviewed by. by. It's Amy? Oh god, you forgot my name? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Citizens of Vice City, now you've got the opportunity to win a part of me, my signature. Ink. I only give away parts of myself to people who have bought all our records. So you've got to answer this. On which album did Beast Fist appear? Was it A, Dogs on Heat, B, Fat Chicks All Day All Night, or C, Devil's Own Band? We got a miscontent at B. 
for you especially. Okay, I got it. Car 13, out. Hmm, no sign of Mercedes. Guardian Angel to eat some fender.
Don't be thinking you're cute now, skinny dork. I feel like hitting someone. It's my turn at the oldest thing. I know you will learn, cause there ain't another who can rock your world. Just open those legs, let me get it, girl. Get it, 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 get it,
Great son, why don't you move to Russia? I don't understand people in America today. They call this a cold war, but it's hotter than hell. Mark my words, any day now you're sitting in school passing notes and talking about the prom when suddenly you look out the window and there are Russian paratroopers dropping in to take over. Whatever. What can you do? Run into the woods with your friends? Call yourselves the Wolverines? Put twigs in your hand? Try to beat back the Ruskies? No, you hightail it past the Richard Salvation statue and blast off into space. But there is a limited amount of space. That's why I suggest anyone who wants the safety and security of your own bunker, give now. Call 866-9-SAVE-ME. We'll get you on the payment plan, and if you're paid in full on D-Day, you and your family will be safe. If not, you may have to choose to save yourself and leave the others behind. Hey, 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 stop selling things on my show. You're not a value sponsor who supports the art of public radio, buddy. I for one welcome our new Russian masters. We can learn so much from other cultures. Did you know in India, the women protest by setting themselves on fire? I tell you, next time the kids are screaming for ice cream and pop, I may just douse myself in kerosene. I use that as a threat to my kids all the time, so it's no wonder they're so screwed up. That's one of the tough things about being a mom, not really. That Knife After Dark movie may be number one in the box office, but my kids certainly ain't gonna see it. If you don't raise your kids right, they end up being like new boy over there or uh, working in radio. I want them to get pro- well, when I demanded to go- I remember when she kissed me goodbye. Off, whatever it is in German. I know, but I lie a lot. Uh, I've got a lot of personal issues. Look at me. P please, Maurice, I need a hug. There's another example of immorality in this city. Public showing of affection. People think we want to see the making out and carrying on. I understand your hormones rage like a wild animal, yeah. and you want to ravage one another like there's no tomorrow, but you have to ignore what your body is telling you and work for a higher calling, like construction. Yeah. We're building a statue, and we need your help. Call me now. You know, pretty soon you won't be able to tell who's a human and who's an android. Why, the corporation is working on it right now. I know, I read about it. I tell my kids... I am opinionated and moronic. I see. Well, this panel is certainly interesting. The issue is morality. Recently, rock artists joined together to provide famine aid to Alaska with the song Do They Know It's the Fourth of July? Critics complain it's immoral to meddle in the affairs of other peoples and cultures. Pastor Richards, what? Uh, what do you make of meddling in other people's business like an over-opinionated sociopath? Well, let me say that money could have gone to much better things like reserving a place by my side in the past of Richard's... My city is mine now, not his! Let them, but don't... It's what makes the state of Florida great. Rather than help improve where they are, people nationwide abandon their hometowns, come down here, and shove their belief down everyone else's throat. That's the American way, always has been. We should send some pictures of Florida to those people in Alaska. I tell you, they throw down that bear pelt, saddle up the sled dogs, and get pulled all the way to Vice City. And I should know, I'm from Mars. No, you're not. Uh, Mars, Alabama. I found it. Tommy, it's Lance. We got big problems. Come down here right away.
Bill! Run! Run! Ah, wait! Never get a naked flame too close to where the Phil Cassidy's booze shine still. Shit, Phil. Did you drink that stuff? Hell, you don't have to drink it. Just a good whiff will set you off. Ah, Listen, Phil, you said you could fix me up with some firepower. Sure thing. There's some Mexican gun runner been doing me for business of late. He does his weekly run about now. <clears throat> hey. Ram his hardware off the back of his trucks before he goes to ground. And you'd be doing me a favor while you're at it. Then finish him off. up in a big bed and go to break
especially the part where you get to slaughter your own buffalo and take home the meat, or give the locals the flu while buying their land off them for a pittance. That's what children need. Uh, uh, what is? Wholesome activities that benefit the family. Now, what good is it? Generatron for five hours. Oh, sure, he's killing space aliens, thank you very much, but it ain't putting food on the table. And he's learning bad language. my ex-wife. <laughs> Don't worry. Stay calm. I'm not eyeing you up, but I am a little worried about you. How are the children? Do they enjoy school? Of course they do. That's precisely why I'm going to start home. Just try to behave. I think the sun must have got to you or something. Yes, maybe that's it. A mole Die and the fires are doomed. It is written, TV is trash, radio is trash, our newspapers are run by Canadians with an agenda. Our very way of life is threatened. We form this great state to play golf, and I'll be damned if any weirdo hippies are gonna tell us we can't fill in wetlands and make a home for ourselves, complete with 18-hole championship standard courses and selective admission. Heathens will ruin the land, acid will rain from the skies, we'll never hear my voice again, it will be anarchy. TV teaches immorality. Refugees, glue, the price of tea in China. How can we raise children in this environment? My little boy asked me the other day, Mommy, are you Nick? Hey, Phil. How's it going? Hey, Tony! How you doing? It's been too long. I swear you should lay off that boom shine, man. It smells like paint stripper. It's make my eyes burn. Shh, 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 Tommy. Hey, come over here because there's something I want to show you. Something. Oof, God, should I be able to smell that from way over here? Like Don't boom. you worry about Phil. the smell, Oof. Tommy. You just watch this. Shitty, cheap, bad as your son. There's some more on the bench. Ta da! Oh, damn! <laughs> All dewy, my sky sailing pregnant. Watch out! Charlie the tree line! What are you talking about? Dissemony? Dissemony. Sorry, whatever. Do you even have a last name? Maiden. Or the rose made of jelly. Maker. Trust me, Amy. I'm quite accustomed to people persecuting us. Welcome, Spoon. Come out of here. 
studied crystals. The ancient Chinese, Belgians, Superman. They all studied crystals. Not the hospital, man. Too many cops in Viet Cong. There's an ex-army surgeon who owes me a few favors and a lot more. He's got a place there, a little event. Oh, look, giant fish. He's teaming with the spoon. Magnolia tree, a woman breastfeeding a baby elk. Do you see it? It's nature. Ew, gross. You're one of those filthy hippies that thinks breastfeeding in public is okay. Well, <laughs> it's not. There are bottles and milk at the store. Don't act like a cow. You really remind me of someone by the mm -mm. No, not of them. They're trying to outlaw nature. If I'm in the park and a nice gentleman comes along, I should be able to breastfeed him. Pretty soon, everything natural will become illegal. It's really depressing. If I died right now, would I get buried by a female priestess? lady of the mammoths about the importance of the spiral dance clutching a bison horn under the crescent moon at the beaten wild shop where i work we have classes that teach the importance of eating wild plant shellfish and understanding ancient crop circles oh i love lobster have you ever tried talking to one energy flows from everything even a tractor my mother the moon taught me how to trace ley lines with your bare feet in the dirt. Listen, you're very weird, and you smell like patchouli and compost, and I think you might have a shot at a boyfriend if you shaved and got some gel in your hair and put some clothes that fit or something. I mean, please. Did Joan of Arc shave? I was given this fascinating pamphlet called Caucasian Female Body. Tommy, it's Phil. I want to thank you for helping me out back there, son. Damn Charlie, he'll always ambush you somewhere or the other. Anyway, the wound is healing well, and it means I'll no longer be defrauding the government on my disability check. What's going on? Tommy! Oh, good, good, good. Listen, listen, uh, listen. I like fish. I love fish. I love them as pets in bowls, or as food on a plate. But as much as I love them, I don't want to sleep with them, okay? But right now, your Italian brothers are coming from up there to fit me with some cement shoes, and I- Shut up, Ken. Sit down. Lance, what the hell's going on? It's your friends up north, Tommy. They ain't too happy you kept their man. They're coming down to see the business today. They took longer than I thought. Guys, we gotta make this final. We gotta leave no doubt that this is my operation. Mine! Ken, you get the first one to counterfeit cash and put 20 mil in briefcases. Lance, you get the guys together. Tommy! Why? No big hugs for your old buddy. I've had 15 years out of the loop. I'm a bit rusty <laughs> on family etiquette. Oh, he's angry, huh, Tommy? Didn't I say your temper would get you into trouble, huh? There's three mil in the cases. How many was it? Ten? No, eleven men. That's how you get to be called the Howard Butcher. <laughs> you sent me to kill one man. One man! They hey, knew Tommy, I was coming, Sonny. Tommy! Watch your tone. Anyone would think you blame me for that unfortunate set of circumstances. Just take the money. Get the damn cash. You know, Tommy, I did what I could for you. I pulled strings, called in favors. I was your friend, Tommy. I hoped you'd see sense, see what's good for business. I trusted you, Tommy, and you disappointed me. But at least someone in your chicken shit organization knows how to do business. Isn't that right, Lance? I'm sorry, Tommy. This is Vice City. This is business. <laughs> you sold us out. No. I sold you out, Tommy. I sold you out. The real cash is upstairs in the safe. So, Tommy, what was the big plan? You think I just take the fake cash? 
save face, and run away with my tail between my legs? No. I just wanted to piss you off before I kill you. Come on, quick! No one to cover your ass now, eh, Tommy? You're going down, you backstabbing prick! Oh, you think so? Don't push me, man. Come here, you double-crossing piece of shit! Your history, Tommy! History! This is the last dance for Lance fans. I said I had enough of that. Uh, it's the wrong side, Lance. You took 15 years from me, Sonny, and now I'm gonna make you pay! You still don't get it, do you? I own you, Tommy! Those 15 years were mine to spend. Get him, boys, he never has to thank you. Oh. Tommy? Oh my god, Tommy, what, what happened? 
What does it look like? It looks like you ruined your suit, and Tommy, that was a beautiful suit. Tommy, what on earth happened? Had a disagreement with a business associate. You know how it is. Tommy, I have a disagreement. I send them an angry letter. Maybe I pee in their mailbox. I don't start World War III. You know, maybe you should speak to my shrink. That stupid prick, Lance. Tommy, I never liked that guy, okay? He's neurotic, he's insecure, he's self-centered. The guy's an asshole. I'm glad you took him out. I don't think we're gonna be getting any more heat from up north either. Because there ain't no up north anymore. It's all down south now. Wait, does that mean what I think it means? Tommy, baby! What do you think it means? That we're in charge. I mean, I mean that you're in charge. Oh, Tommy! You know, Ken, I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful business relationship. After all, you're a conniving, backstabbing, two-bit thief, and I'm a convicted psychotic killer and drug dealer. <laughs> I know. Ain't it just beautiful?